Hello and welcome. Today we have a Samsung A54 5G with charging problems. We are going to use isopropyl alcohol at the edge of the back cover so the double sided tape will soften and allow us to remove the glass back cover. So go around and place drops of isopropyl alcohol and leave your phone for about half an hour so this will work. So after leaving the phone for a while so the isopropyl alcohol can do its job we are going to use a hair dryer to heat up the back cover. Five minutes should be enough. So make sure you heat everything um, nice and um, all around so the heat can go all over the back cover. So let's start heating. So after about 5 minutes of evenly distributed heat from our hair dryer at about 80 degrees Celsius, we are going to use this tool to lift up the back cover. So this is a very useful tool to help us get this job done without breaking the back cover. So as you can see this is very easy to open now and we have a very thin edge and prying an opening tool in between uh, in between in between the back glass and the phone's frame is very risky you could break your back cover so this makes everything much easier it's uh, it's such a big difference so you need a strong suction cup you don't need this tool with two suction cups but you need, need a strong suction cup and things can be done easily as you can see so we have here the double sided tape that is very sticky and it's not damaged we are going to recycle that. So this phone is not charging and it's completely discharged. Because the phone is dead and the battery is discharged, we are going to replace the charging board without removing the top part shield. If you need to do this job and your phone still has uh, power, please open up the top part and disconnect your battery to avoid short circuit and other issues. All of, <clears throat> all of the repairs I show you uh, are for informational purposes only and I am not responsible for some damages that may occur while doing them. So you need to be extra careful.
So before replacing this, we need to make sure we solved the charging problem. So this means connecting the flex cable to the charging board and the screen so we can check the charging. So let's see. We are going to connect a charging cable. So you need to be careful so you don't damage those flex cables. So it looks like the problem is solved. The battery is completely discharged as I was saying, but we have life. The old charger, uh, the old charging board was not doing anything. So I guess you could also order this type C connector and re-solder a new one if the problem is a broken connector. But this is not broken, so maybe we have an issue with those small parts and a broken IC or something could be the culprit and ordering a new original part is much easier than trying to fix this so now we are going to continue replacing this charging board so let's disconnect the screen and get this removed you have a very small black screw that is holding the charging board in place we need to disconnect the fingerprint sensor disconnect so disconnect the antenna cable carefully lift it up so it's always better to get your um, tweezer beneath the metal part. If you lift your antenna by lifting with the cable, sometimes it detaches from this socket and you need to order a new one because fixing them is not easy. Okay, we also need to get the display flex cable uh, detached from the charging board. So it's always easier if you use a bit of heat. Let's see. You can also use a hot air gun or other devices that allow you to heat up your stuff. Using a hair dryer is safe because the temperature will not go over to um, high temperatures and cause damage. So, getting this removed seems to be harder than expected. We have a small double-sided tape that is holding it in place, but a strong double-sided tape. So now we remove this charging board and get the new one before you insert this into the phone's frame 
Don't forget to remove this sticker. If you forget about it, it will uh, cause problems and and uh, the microphone will not work properly because it will be blocked by that small film. So let's see. Get your charging connector inside the frame and push the charging board let's disconnect this flex cable it's better this way and push this charging board in its place so you have this pushing down I mean pushing the other way that's making things difficult, but now everything is in place. Connect the fingerprint sensor. And looks like we need to remove this black double-sided tape from the flex cable because the new charging board is pre has that double-sided tape pre-applied from the factory let's get this antenna cable connected and this antenna cable connected so you should hear a small click and everything is fine get the small black screw back in its place and get your flex cable connected to the screen and the charging board. So, when everything is in place, we can get this buzzer. This is the phone's speaker, loudspeaker. <clears throat> so, get it in the, the top part. Try to bend it somehow so you get it also under this part because we have some small plastic uh, brackets here that need to go in so everything uh, sets down perfectly. Get the screws and put everything in place Good. Now we need to check and clean the camera if you have any dust on it before placing the back cover on. Also, you could have some small uh, pieces of dirt that we need to clean. So, if you have some kind of brush you need to clean everything before placing the back cover on the phone. Okay. Uh, be very careful around your cameras. You don't want to... You don't want to... Um, get dirt on them and you don't want to damage your cameras
Okay. Let's see. This is a special camera, a special camera brush. This is very clean. Okay, now we need to get the back cover back on the phone. But first, let's use our hair dryer for about two minutes so the double sided tape gets nice and sticky. Now we are going to get this back in its place. So align it to the phone and apply pressure. So the double sided tape is uh, sticky, but placing the phone in a press is always a good idea. So if you have one available, please do. So let's check the charging again. And it's working. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like, comment and subscribe. Have a good day.